This is Cyclocross Magazine here at NABS 2015 with Chris Connor of Connor Wood Bicycles. So you've got a wood cyclocross bike here. You're calling the Axe Handle? The Axe Handle CX, yes. And you've entered this into the best cyclocross bike category? Yes, I did. And can you tell me a little bit about this bike? Uh, well, this is running a black walnut frame, okay. uh, which is reinforced with carbon fiber and Kevlar to give it a... a, a Exceptional strength, but at the same time, give it this wonderful um, suppleness to the ride quality that I think Wood is so uh, exceptional about delivering. Um, it's running a, a sort of fun combination of gears, uh, where I'm running a 1042 uh, SRAM cassette um, with a 42 chainring up front, controlled by the SRAM drop bar shifters. Um, so a very nice sort of uh, hybridizing of the um, road and mountain system, so you get this massive uh, gear range to it. Right. And that's a 10-speed XO mountain bike derailleur that you've gotten to work with the XD wide-range cassette. Yes, it, uh, it works perfectly. It just takes a little bit of tinkering, but it has all the range that you need um, to handle that big, uh, big chain ring and um, shifts perfectly. That's awesome. Now, these are actually tubes. They're hollow? Yes, they, the frames are hollowed out on the inside um, to reduce the weight but still have exceptional strength. Okay. And um, the insides of the tubes in places are lined with carbon fiber to give it uh, additional rigidity and a little bit of additional strength. Right. Uh, but at its core, it is a wood bike through and through. Awesome. Now, what, what, what does a frame like this weigh? A frame like this is about six pounds, so okay. it's you know, a couple pounds heavier than the other sort of exotic right. materials, but it right. uh, gives you a very competitive weight when you do a nice build on it. This bike sure. rolling is about 22 and a half pounds. Awesome. Now, obviously, it looks cool. It's pretty unique. It has a really nice finish to it, but are there ride quality advantages to having such a bike? I, I believe so, but I think yeah. that's where wood excels, is in its uh, ride quality. That okay. Wood has this wonderful natural ability to sort of suck up bumps and vibrations that eat up the shocks that would telegraph through the frame and into your body, right. and gives you a very, very supple, non-fatiguing ride. Awesome. Uh, so it, it, it really smooths things out gloriously, and that's, that's one of the areas that I think, aside from the, the beauty of the wood and the aesthetic sort of uh, appeal to the design, uh, that's one of the big benefits is in the ride quality. Okay. And this was actually built for a, an arbor? Yes, uh, Robert Brudnell, he's an arborist, and um, he loves trees and uh, loves everything about them. He's ridden a couple of my bikes in the past. He raced one of my mountain bikes in the Leadville 100 a couple years back uh, and wanted something new and exotic and fun, and I think this fits the bill. Awesome. Now, how much would this cost someone? Uh, it's hard to say exactly, but it probably adds up to somewhere around 7500 And I know you like to do complete bikes, but frame component of that cost would be? Frame is probably about 3500 and is there a big wait list right now? Or? Uh, there's a, I've got a few uh, uh, bikes in the hopper right now, but right. Uh, we're probably about three months out on builds. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time. Certainly. Thank you. Appreciate it.